I performed with my mother, you know, for the United Negro College Fund. And I think that was probably my first encounter with, you know, an organization such as the UNCF. Um, now it's, it's sort of like it's on my own. Actually, that's where she started. Do it, uh, being a model. Yeah, a lot of things came out of yeah. that. Out of your first performance for the yes. United Negro College Fund. Yeah. A big photographer took pictures of her there and myself, you know what I mean. And he called and said, she's beautiful. Why don't you take her to the model agency? Why don't you go up there and say there was a model agency just opening up? Yeah, I said, you want to go? True. Yeah. She says, uh, yeah, ma. She said, what do you think? I said, ah, come on, <laughs> what can we lose? And that's how it all started. Whitney, when you sing gospel style with your mom, does it draw a different part out of you than when you're singing a pop song? It takes me back um, to when I was younger and I was singing in church and watching my mother sit in the front row and looking at me and going, you know. It just sort of takes me back to a time and place that, you know, that she and I only know about, you know, and uh, that none of this was there, none of this was here. Whitney Houston wasn't there, so it just takes me back. And what's that like for you, Sissy, when you're out there with Whitney? Well, it's almost like um, <laughs> deja vu. It's like hearing yourself, you know, sing. It's a, it's a real kind of feeling that you really can't explain. Can't it goes explain. so deep, yeah. and so I'm, I'm crying most of the time. If uh, I think we both are. When we get to a point yeah. where, you know, it's, it's just a magical kind of thing. Whitney, does it bring out a different dynamism when you're on stage with your mom? I don't know. It's like, um, it's my mother. It's like looking at my mother, and it's... It's hard to explain, you know, exactly what it is that you feel. You're just looking and you're going, wow. And sometimes I go, I wonder if I'm going to look like that. <laughs> or, I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to sound that way, you know. A lot of things are running through my mind, you know, but it's, it's just very strange, you know. It's like when I was recording with my mother, and then we would play the tape back, and I couldn't tell who it was that was singing. And that was really deep, you know. I was like, oh, this is just too, too much for me. But it's, it's, it's very deep, you know. It's, it's connected to the soul. Prince of peace, you are. Prince of peace, you are. Prince of peace, you are. Prince of A lot of your black audience has been a little bit critical in the last year mm. about your singing songs that were less in the soul tradition or in the gospel tradition, that mm. you went a little too far to the pop side. How do you feel about that kind of criticism? I don't know. What do they want? <laughs> what do they want me to do? Um, I don't think that, uh, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really get involved in, into that kind of thing, you know. I think music is music, you know. I mean, how do I sing more black, or how do I sing? What am I doing that's making me sound white? I don't understand, you know? I'm singing music from my heart, from my soul, and that's it, so I don't really think it's an issue in my life. How would you like to see your work continue to unfold? What are the goals that you have? I guess one of my goals is just to stay a good human being and to be a good person, and um, I don't know, just get married, have some kids, you know? Do something different <laughs> besides making music. Um, movies, that kind of thing, you know, that's my next step, you know, as far as my goals are concerned. But to basically just stay um, level-headed, you know, and to not uh, have all this take me, you know, around the world in 80 days and come back somebody else, you know. I like who I am. In the last couple of months, you have had some sort of controversial publicity for the first time in your career, mm. mostly about how much people perceive your career to have been orchestrated. Mm. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't know about orchestrated. Um, everything that we have done has worked. If that's orchestrated, then I guess that's what it is. Um, you know, <laughs> we didn't plan to have, uh, or I didn't plan to have things, you know, me sell six million copies the first time, and then the second time, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, it's going to happen. We just, uh, you know, Arista and myself just played it right. You know, we obviously did the right things, and that's success, you know, and if success is orchestrated, then I want to orchestrate it for the rest of my life. How important is it for performers to use their platform to benefit other people? I think it's very important. I think um, if it is done from the heart, you know, and if it's given that way, I think it's important. Um, 
you know, people sort of um, say that, you know, oh, they're going to get publicity out of this, you know. I don't need any more publicity, <laughs> really, you know. So if it's done from the heart, which is where I'm coming from, I think it's, you know, it's worth it. What does it mean to have somebody of Whitney's stature associated with this kind of a project? What does it do for you? It's tremendous. There are so many youngsters who are her fans, and they have to think about college when they know she's doing something for the United Negro College when they love her and then there's this extra dimension of making something out of their lives. How important is it for you to be a role model out there? I don't know. <laughs> it's important um, <clears throat> to set an example, you know. Um, if, if young people look at my life and look at what I've done and say, wow, I can do that too, that's the kind of role model that I like to present, you know. But as far as doing it like Whitney does it, or, you know, that's impossible, you know. I, I, I would imagine that if you're going to do it, then do it better than me, you know. I would like that, so. Did you have role models out there, and who were they? Yeah, my mom, my role model. Um, I think more, it was basically my mother, you know, because she was, she was real to me. It wasn't like I had to reach for a star and look at somebody and say, oh, you know, I want to be like them. You know, my mother was a great example to me as far as you know, values and morals and things of that nature. I think it's very important that uh, we show some kind of interest in uh, our youngsters to show them the kind of way. I think it's a great responsibility for people like Whitney, or entertainers, but I think still that the, the impact that they have on the public and on our young people is very important. How do you choose what you participate in? What touches me, you know, closely to my heart, you know? Um, young people always do, you know? Um, not just black or white or green or yellow, it's, it's all young people, you know. I don't regret not going to college. Um, I think um, now that um, I am older and I'm pretty much uh, set, you know, um, maybe now I would consider going back, you know, mm -hmm. or taking some courses. And... <laughs> just going don't get her hopes up. <laughs> Is that a lot of what you still do, you know, do the mother and daughter thing? Definitely, definitely. I'm always correcting her for some reason. But, oh, whatever. You know how mothers are. Yes. A pain in the neck. But most of the time, I'm very, you know, well, I'm all the time, I'm, I'm very proud of her. Uh, when I look critically, I'm just, I just think she can sometimes improve. So uh, you have a support system there to remind you who oh, you yeah. are. If you were going to influence kids out there, particularly young black kids. What would you hope to influence them most directly to do? Just to be the best, you know? Um, if this is what you want, whatever it is that you want, um, go for it and be the best that you can put. Put everything into it, you know? That means time, work, dedication, and all the things that makes one successful. You know? That's what I would say.